This shows uh, from which village shrine and from which village shrine well the water went to where. Because they carry water from here and then to that and then from there to so there, symbolizing the water stream. Yes? And because my husband was a structuralist, so he was fascinated to show this in such a way, to show the structure streaming down below in the cultural system. And then, this is one of such ritual spring. <laughs> stay there eating and sleeping and attending to religious occasions. And then during such time the tokonoma, the altar of shrine house is kept like this. Senko burning and ocha tea has to be there and they have to attend to that also all night. I had also the permission to take part in eating and sleeping there and attending to ritual occasions. You see, English, you is, uh, use no hook and so on. English written because, yeah, it was uh, from the military uh, source. This rice was uh, given from American uh, Okinawan government. She loved smoking. <laughs> and that's why she had a voice like that. <laughs> the strongest voice, that is of this uh, smoking priestess. You might notice the difference in the melodies of chanting. Yes? The other one had a different melody. And next one, next one, you will hear soon from the most important shrine. It's totally different melody again. This one, 
I think it's rather influenced by the modern school songs. Yeah? Yeah? But, by the way, during such retreats, men are really forbidden to come close. They asked me, where is your husband? Where is your, is your husband? I said, because you said he should not come closer, so he's at home. You're sure? He's not sneaking around. No, 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 he's not around. Make sure, because if he would, his manly instrument would hang forever. <laughs> and of course, my husband was scared to death, so he stayed <laughs> And uh, these ladies, yes, because they were ladies, it was okay that they came over there and kept us company. And even if they would do any handworks, it was okay. Uh, but making kimono, that was okay too. Not boys' kimono. Even the tiny little boys' kimono was not allowed. Because then, you know, that boy would have for the rest of his life, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you see how dangerous that is. Making baskets and then making tea. Oh, this is a morning ritual. So early in the morning. Oh, so early in the morning. Mm. And here you see that they, the hand got like this, yes? Because she's doing this. I was so glad that you see not like this, but this, because it shows she was in the middle of the prayer, praying action, yes? And then after morning ritual, cup of tea, chanting for rain out to the holy well. announcing what kind of day that is, the day of asking rain. There are hours and hours of recording like this, fortunately. And then, harvest occasion, harvest festival. A group of priestesses come from the most important shrine to the rest of the village, the rest of the island, inviting all the deities, please come over to the west, to our shrine. Because we'll give you a big festival tonight. So they are on journey inviting the deities from other village shrines. And they are receiving also uh, uh, dinners at every other village shrine, also in the garden, and now going back to their own shrine. And although we don't see them, now you're supposed to visualize, imagine that lots of the island deities are traveling with them, going back to the, their own most important shrine. By the way, you might recognize me 